I went from Me Time, which was one Regina Hall movie, to another Regina Hall movie in Honk for Jesus Save Your Soul. And I gotta say, whoever made Me Time, I've already forgot, you wasted Regina Hall. You wasted Regina Hall. Hello everyone, I watched Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul, as you can already guess by clicking on this video. It was directed by Adama Ibo, and her sister helped produce the movie. And it is basically Sterling K. Brown and Regina Hall star as this husband and wife, mega church pastor and the first wife duo who get embroiled in a scandal where he has allegedly hooked up with some dudes and he it's like they're making a documentary about that so the story is in flux between this doc this documentary like mockumentary thing and what they're actually going through and there's also another church that is about to open as they're trying to have their reopening during this scandal so it's a lot of competing things it's just a great movie and when you have Sterling K. Brown and you have Regina Hall in this movie, they just absolutely carry the movie a hundred, hundred, a hundred thousand percent. The, their acting is what is worth watching. The story also is great because like I previously mentioned, it's a mockumentary satire of that culture of like these men taking advantage of their congregation and using the money that they're given to live this decadent lifestyle while people that come to their church may not be, you know, might have to have the most money, but they're giving up their money because they believe in God and Jesus and that this guy, this evangelist is here to help them when in fact he just wants more cars, more money, more Gucci, more Bugatti, more all these other designer clothes and all that stuff. And Regina Hall's character is just along for the ride because she likes that lifestyle. Where it elevates beyond a satire and uh, a mockumentary is that when it cuts to the real life portion of these two characters, Lee Curtis Childs and uh, Trinity Childs, it is very, 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 very serious. There are some very serious allegations happening here. This is a pastor that has preached about homosexuality and how it's a sin yet he is doing these things on the side, cheating on his wife, doing all types of sins. Adama Ebo, the director and writer, she's dealing with a lot of things here, and she, she knows throughout the movie when to pull back. So there's easy points where you can be the mockumentary satire, but you have to pull back and be the real stuff. And that's where the movie shines, is the real stuff. And they, those two moments obviously collide at some point. And it's just a great watch. It sucks that it's not doing well at the box office. But if you got Peacock, it's on Peacock. It's well worth the watch. Sterling K. Brown, I mean, the dude could act with nothing. He could do his own one-man show for sure. And I'm, I don't know his film. I don't know his stage work or anything like that. But he probably has already. Anyways, Regina Hall is also amazing. I'm still upset that she was wasted in me time but hey sometimes you got to secure the bag <laughs> when you're an actor sometimes you take some roles for fun from the people you like to work with and then sometimes you do stuff like this where you really want to show that you're a great actor or actress and regina hall is the lifeblood of this movie and i want to see more dramatic turns from her i would give it an eight out of ten honks for jesus well i'd honk it for this movie and it's just great acting, great directing, great writing. All across the board, it's really fun. Uh, just also not doing well at the box office. But it's on Peacock, so okay. Un esercito di prodi, 